anyways, but this is what I was thinking that uh, Fight Club it is a weird uh, subversive movie and book because it actually makes people think, hey, this is a different way to live life. And this is the way, because no religion is mentioned in Fight Club. These men exist together, and it's like it's this weird ideal society that well, there's a there's a system of rules that exists, and actually what we're gonna do is like we're gonna be our own little subversive group, pranksters. They pull pranks all the time, and they're mean pranks and this and that, and they're really elaborate pranks, but it was kind of cool. And why? Because people like li like living in that lifestyle. Um, see, and really, what uh, Chuck Palahniuk, genius that he is, you know, he just envisions a society where people just kind of they exist in their own set of rules. And it works for them. And other people kind of latch onto that. And it's just like, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, so guys are angry. What do they do? They go, well, we'll just fight with each other, you know? And the, I listened to the author talk about it before the movie came out. He said, like, I bet you fight clubs are going to spring up around the country. Um, the son of the, you know, of the dean at the Mormon uh, college in Salt Lake City, Utah, had started a fight club. Where it's supposed to be a very devout religious community and this and that. And these guys who are brought up in a religious environment, and they're trained, you know, from day one. Like, look, you know, you got to really think about what you're doing, where you're, you know, where you're going, and what you're exploring and understanding. And these kids, what do they do in college? They experiment by starting a fight club, by existing in a little commune, a little group that exchanges violence with each other. And for what purpose, you know? Why do people pay to go to fights? Why do people pay a lot of money to go to fights? Why does money exchange hands? Why do we have gambling? You know, why do we need to have gambling? <coughs> so, it's a weird thing. Why do people feel the need that, that they have a need to own more things? You know, why why do some people just choose to be monks? So, I could have chose to be a, to live like a monk, and you know, I probably should have. But then again, no, no, I kind of chose to live like a samurai. I'm an intellectual, but at the same time, I'm going to fight, yo. Uh, and I'm just not going to be a you know, um, guy slinging Kang or you know, being gangster on the street. Because I'm kind of white, you know. There's so many white dudes in the military. And especially the white dudes are part of the elite. The black dudes and other, you know, the Hispanic dudes, they're there in support. It's a job. It got people out of, you know, out of the poor, out of the ghetto. It got me out of the poor fields, you know. It's just a way to get some money and get a little experience and get a new job. So that's the thing to realize is that you can live your life peaceful in harmony without killing another person, or you can actually, you know, this is, see, this is the problem with Braveheart, man, William Wallace, that last speech, like, look, man, you can guys can go home, and, and just be cowards, it's like, alright, we'll just, you know, we'll just pay these British extra money, fine, we'll just accept what they give us, but the thing is, they're gonna, they're just gonna keep fucking with us, these British guys are just gonna keep fucking with us, and taking more of our land, taking more of our money, you know, so, you know, hey, who knows, maybe you guys, we could fight, we could win, and we could, you know, achieve something, they're like, yeah, let's, let's actually try to kick these British out. And it worked, and they did it, you know. Um, and Wallace was of the people, <laughs> you know, and as a result, uh, but anyway. Uh, so, no, I'm not trying to compare myself to William Wallace, but damn, maybe what if I am? But he chose to live like a god. So I'm going to choose, kind of like live my own way like a god, and just go put myself in a position of combat, yet not hopefully have to kill somebody, because it'd eh, be rough. But it's a weird way I'm actually supporting, and yet not supporting it. So I, in no way, actually contributed to somebody being killed. So I'm okay with that. You know, my conscience is clean. My, my hands are not bloody, stained in any way. I supported the notion. I supported the belief. You know, I also, ex you know, supported the idea, hey, all right, let's exchange some money for wealth or money for payback. And that was like, pay off my college, so thank you. But anyways, look, guys, that's the way to do it. You can uh, go to college and pay it off going to the military. And, or join the military after you get out of high school, get free college. So that's something else to consider. You can join the military, and have access to free college, especially if you're stationed in Texas, for some cool reason. But yeah, even I was like taking some just, uh, there literally was a class that, at the limit that was offered. So that, you know, whatever reason, they, they knew it, and they worked off with the government too. I paid money to get a class, a college class, you know, to expand myself. And I didn't get enrolled because my GPA was low, but anyways. Yeah, so I'm, a, I'm an idiot philosopher, I guess you could say. But this is why I do so many videos for YouTube. This is why I, you know, exchange my ideas. And this is why I think my own little blogging and this and that. But um, um, this is just what I think. This is just what I observe. And this is, you know, what an author does, in my opinion. You know, they observe and they interpret. So the guy, Chuck Palahniuk from Fight Club, 
He said, hey, you guys can live your life like this, in a, in a state of controlled violence. You can, you know, exchange violence with each other. And, you know, and, and guys, they got beat the crap up, but they, they lived it. They kept going to it. And the crack addicts, or the meth addicts, really got into it. You know, that was a crazy thing. But, uh, yeah, you can join the military and have that experience and then get out. So, and right now, I want people to join the military because it would help other people and get us off the mercenaries, you know. Um, just, we need more guys who, you know, fighting because we just don't got it. And we just, a lot of people get worn out. So, but, you know, you got to think about the other people. And, hey, people in power, they want the war, fine, let them have their war. We have to, unfortunately, exchange a life debt to get that. And that's why we have religion, so, sorry, yeah.